Hello, veteran game enthusiasts. It's a day of double delight today as we take a leap from 2001 to 2004 and from Pikmin 1 to Pikmin 2. Nintendo has been busy treating us with a bit of nostalgia before the grand launch of Pikmin 4, and I must say, it's working. Pikmin 2 takes the exceptional and unique gameplay of its predecessor and carefully sprinkles more variety into it, making it arguably the jewel of the Pikmin series to date. We see our hero Captain Olimar, now accompanied by his colleague Louis, back to gather a heap of treasure from the same Pikmin planet. Believe it or not, discarded items like bottle caps and batteries are worth a lot of pokos back home, and Olimar and Louis need to collect 100 000 pokos worth to save the Hokotate Freight Company from bankruptcy. Pikmin 2 extends the original gameplay with a bigger landscape to conquer, even more intriguing environmental puzzles, and plenty of enemies to thrash. And the best part? The time constraint has been ditched, so you can take your time exploring the surface and the underground dungeons. You've got your regular red, yellow, and blue Pikmin, with yellows now resistant to electric shocks. But Pikmin 2 introduces two new friends, the poison-resistant, treasure-finding white Pikmin and the super-strong, damage-withstanding purple Pikmin. One of the major enhancements is the ability to control Olimar and Louis separately, allowing you to multitask and strategize more effectively. You can switch control between the characters and their Pikmin teams, enabling simultaneous tasks to be completed. All this, combined with the co-op mode and challenges from the original, creates an unbeatable package. This HD remaster is a bit basic, similar to the Pikmin 1 HD version. You'll get a higher resolution, upscaled UI elements, and Pikmin 3 style controls. The port also offers the option of using motion controls. However, it's not all rosy. Some elements, like the attraction mode and real-world branded products, have been removed or replaced, possibly due to expired licenses. Despite these minor drawbacks, this remaster is a solid port that performs flawlessly, placing almost the entire Pikmin 2 experience on your Switch. And it's an experience you don't want to miss, trust me. With its creative gameplay, beautiful graphics, and the addition of new Pikmin types and control features, Pikmin 2 has aged like a fine wine. While it may be a basic port and we do miss some of the original elements, the core gameplay and innovation remain untouched. It's a game that stood the test of time remarkably well. So, if you're experiencing the joy of Pikmin for the first time or revisiting it after years, Pikmin 2 is definitely worth checking out on the Switch. That's it for today's review, folks. Remember to keep gaming and stay tuned for more exciting content. Until next time, keep the game spirit high, veterans.